I think that the things that have brought us here today tell us a lot about the development of our continent of Africa. I'm beginning by saying that the place of the diaspora, the status of people in the diaspora, of the African diaspora, is intimately linked with what happens on the continent. And Africa strong and performing transforms your position and your status here in Europe. But in Africa, which continues to live the narrative of poverty, hungry children, people going across the Sahara, going in rickety boats and dying in Lampesuda to get to Europe. That Africa is not an, a narrative that is going to help you over here. So I think between you and us, our main task is the transformation of the continent. And why do I say so? Just one simple example. The Chinese diaspora is supposed to be some 60 million people. And in the table of states that constitute the 25th country in the world. They're saying that of the 52 billion foreign investment that went into China in the 80s and 90s that transformed China into the, what it is today, the manufacturing hub of the world. 50% of that, 26%, came from the Chinese overseas community. And that development of China that has taken place has changed the status and the position of Chinese all over the world. So I want you to take those statistics very seriously because that is the transformative connection that we want to make with the African diaspora. How? to implicate it in the development of the continent. Once we change the narrative about Africa, and we can only do it ourselves, we have to get away from the idea that there's some Father Christmas somewhere who's going to come and develop our continent for us. There is no such Father Christmas. There's just us who are going to be able to develop our continent. So once that mentality is our mentality that we have to do it ourselves. Then our relations with other people become that much more structured and, and punctilious, if you like. Our relations with France, our relations with Europe. Our relations with Europe is a natural one. You look at the geography of the world, Africa and, and, and Europe, our, our natural partners. There's just this small strip of water, the Mediterranean, that separates the two of us. So when you look at that, and you look also at the history of, that has gone on between Africa and Europe, that is a natural relationship and a natural alliance, but a relationship that has to be different from the relationship that we've had up to now. Why do I say so? That relationship has enriched Europe, but has not enriched Africa. So we need to change that dynamic. And we can only do it by ourselves taking the correct measures for our future. So that's where my focus is. And that's why I have the, I'm very excited about the possibility of having this encounter that we can all begin to speak the same language, the language of cooperation, the language of collaboration, but to a different end. It cannot be right that the continent that has allegedly the wealthiest resources of all the continents of the world is also the home of the poorest people on the globe. That disconnect is not a good disconnect, and we need to work to change that disconnect. So. When we're then talking about the need for self-reliance, it is because particularly important is to recognize that we have the resources, we have the youngest population in the world, 25% of our population is under the age of, what, 19? It's a huge amount of resource of potential strength. And once we do the educating, we find the means to do the educating of this population and giving it skills, then we are putting Africa on a path of very, very strong economic growth. We can replicate what has been done in Asia. 
if like them, we maintain the discipline, and the correct analysis of what we need to do to move our, our continent forward. But really, they've been able in Asia, in a generation, to transform the lives of hundreds of millions of Chinese, hundreds of millions of Indians. Why can we not replicate that same phenomenon on our continent? We can do it. And I have no doubt that those of you here can make a big input into that transformation that we're all looking for. And when we're saying this, and it's very important that we recognize that we're not saying we're turning our back on the world. No, we can't do that. We live on the same planet. We need the association and the partnership with countries like France, with the, 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 the technologies that they have developed here, their savoir-faire in many, many areas. All those things are matters that we can profitably associate and benefit from. But all of it, always, from an understanding that it is for us to define the relationship that we want with the rest of the world. We shouldn't be caught up in a language or a narrative that says that we are appendages to other people's thinking, other people's policies, other people's volonté. That will not help us. So, Mr. President, we're saying the time has come for us to take our destiny in our own hands. It's now th six decades since the independence movement swept Africa. And those who let it, led it did so on the understanding that independence would bring not just freedom for, uh, as sovereign states, but would also provide us the base for the social and economic transformation of our countries. That still hasn't happened. But the pointers are all very, very positive towards the future. And there are several countries on the continent I would get into a lot of trouble if I started identifying <laughs> them here, as I should mention, and I won't mention anyone. But there are several on the continent that visibly you can see are on the right way forward for what we need to do. But in concluding, there's just one thing that I want to say to my brothers and my sisters of the African diaspora in this room. And that is something that perhaps when I hear the the way in which there's a lot of concern about um, the status in France and barriers in France. But there's one thing that all of you should remember, and I hope that you will associate this with me. The destiny of all black people in the world, wherever they are, is bound up with Africa. Let me repeat that. The destiny of all black people in the world is bound up with Africa. And a performing Africa elevates the status of all black people around the world. And non-performing Africa continues the situation where black people around the world are looked at. So, thank you for this opportunity to come and speak to you. On peut faire beaucoup ensemble. Voilà ce que je voulais dire. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président.